Hastine, the man, the myth, the legend. I have countless of videos where I take this incredibly powerful Viking ruler and conquer all over the world. But what if instead of focusing on just his life, we play this entire dynasty? From the very start in 867, all the way to the end in 1453. One dynasty, one legacy, and a lot of Viking adventures. With a long line of rulers and kings that can all trace their lineage back to the man himself. 150 years from the start of the game, Filki Ragnar, the fifth of the Hastian dynasty, rules over his realm. Known as the Trickster, his mastery of intrigue and plotting is unmatched, though infamous for a dark, dark past. This is the fourth episode of the Hastian Saga! In the last episode, his grandfather, Filker Ragnar the Holy gloriously fought off the crusade led by the wicked Pope. But now, a new mission lies ahead. In this episode, Ragnar the Trickster will fulfill his grandfather's legacy and dismantle the papacy once and for all. Yet, his ambitious nephew Toki has other plans. He seized the crown of Italy and split the Hastian realm into two parts. To reclaim what's rightfully ours, no tactic is off the table, even if that means spilling our very shared blood. Toki may wear the crown, but he's no true king. Italy will be ours again. The realm will be reforged in blood! Right now, we need to take back Italy. Now, he has a quite sizable army, but his allies are my vassals, meaning they probably won't rise against me. Like my kinsman, Jolbarder Ustason. It should be said that the Hasty Dynasty has a whopping 122 members. And even though we're a hated kinslayer, people tend to like us for the most part. Except for some choice vassals, like the stone faced King Hertha Knutur, my uncle. Probably because I killed his brother and I blackmailed him. <laughs> but less talking and more fighting. I'm going to seize the lands of the Italian in a massive war to subjugate him. Now, this will eat up my subjugation claim. But it's more important to just keep the realm together in this case. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. And we'll deal with the succession issues later. We're just a few minutes into the video. And we're already having our first. Hastin Dynasty Civil Inside War. But I'm telling you, this war will be far from civil. Seize the entire empire. Hastin would roll in his grave if he saw what happened of his descendants. But Hastin isn't here anymore. Now the capital is here. So that's where I'll put up my troops. Raise them up. And march him over the border. And we also get a diplomacy perk. Because Lord knows it, this man needs some diplomacy. We're going to pick up the friend. Then we're going to slowly befriend as many of our kinsmen as possible. We have a pretty low chance because we have insanely bad traits. But we'll try it anyways. I also had an insane idea to go raiding and capture women so I could give them as concubines to my chancellors, to my vassals, and make them like me that way. But alas, we'll hold off on that idea. We need to divide and conquer. We need to be swift and we need to be effective. All those words, koi fish, mean exactly the damn thing. What the heck are you on about? Take your Adderall. Well, in one battle, we earned a whopping 50% war score. And also, because our dynasty is so shadish, we gained 646 fame and 161 gold. Because you better believe it, we've completely maxed out the pillage legacy, giving us not only more prestige from battles, but also 5 gold for every 100 man we kill. Well, that's 100%. As we just captured Empire Toki Asason, you fed back to Vesele in your castle, and I went in there and said, <clears throat> It is me, Filker Ragnar, your uncle. Hand over your titles. And, and that's literally just how it went. Yeah, the war is done. And the realm is once more intact. Beautiful, wonderful, other adjectives that describe something good. We can also nominate a successor, as they implemented Scandinavian elective. That's actually great. It's Prince Hastin Freydison, that is my son and my heir. So let's start voting for my heir. And hopefully we can get him to the higher rank. He has a lot of votes. But there is also a whole lot of electors. What's important here is that we need to become more liked. And the fact that we literally killed our own uncle. That doesn't bode well for us. We can't really clean off that sin. So the area we have left is Capua, Benevento, the Papacy and a bit of Venice. Let's get that fixed right away. We'll conquer all of Capua in one duchy war and we'll seize the remaining county of Benevento in a county war. Now hold off against fighting against Pope Marinus because god damn! 25 year old mega shad pope that's lustful? Can I seduce him? No, he's not attracted to men and you call yourself an Italian. 
Am I marrying my cousins to my nieces? Are we going the way of the Habsburg? It's all about keeping it in the family, isn't it? Let's settle this war before we start more wars. <laughs> Just like that, we'll capture some cool prisoners. And we can ransom them for a boatload if we need to. That's a problem. Earl Sverker. A man that's not even of the Hastings dynasty has just gotten a claim on my land. That's goofy, but we just took Foggia. Nice. And just like that, we've taken the rest of the Italian's land. These places are actually very well developed. I'm gonna give away Lucera to Prince Hauker Kettilmundson of Italy, who is one of my other house members. It's the Hastings dynasty, just a different flavor. We also control our homeland of Montaigu. Beautiful. Very beautiful. I also got fostered in a fox, as a Norse tribal controlled the entire of Sicily. Damn. I'll now have my wife help me to manage my domain. That will let me keep the wonderful Napoli. And my spy master is wielding that spear like he's gonna stab me with it very gently. Damn, I'm almost seduced. Now it's time to beat off the Shad Pope. Now I know beat off sounds a bit suspicious, but I mean like beat him off the island, not anything else. Bro, get your mind out of the gutter. Now we tried to fight the Pope before and that completely backfired. <laughs> he just called in a bunch of troops and then, like, caught me by surprise as I was raising my armies. I literally cried for weeks. We will get our holy order. A man is already harrowing them, but... <laughs> bro, I need them more. <laughs> get over here. <laughs> and the Battle of Terni! Oh, scratch that. The Slaughter of Terni! The Swiss Guard will not tell their story again! <laughs> get out of here! And that made me a bunch of gold. That's good, because I need that gold. And we just got communal government. That's great. We're actually gaining quite a lot of innovations. Communal government will let us increase the development even further. Nice. Let's pick up battlements. It's gonna take nine years. That's like nothing. And the Battle of Tivoli! Let's go! And we're coming into Rome! Like true barbarians, huh? I bet this one feels familiar to a lot of the Roman citizens. At least they've heard of it. Nah, is it the barbarians again? The Goths? Listen, the only Goth here is my big titty Goth girlfriend, Empress Tsanke. Oh my god, of house Uvu, Uvu notices your uh, dynasty. Another cadet branch known as Boat. House Boat? It's like Boat. And just like that, Rome has been seized. Very nice. I now own the beautiful holy city of Rome. This is massively sacrilegious. I low-key want to keep this. Has really high development, so that's what I'll do. Nah, man, they did not name Jean Rarek the short. No, bro, don't do it, no. The Hastening Dynasty, huh? With six houses. We got stuff like Boat, Hastening Sabre, Hastening Verdafjörtir, Hastening Il, The Thinning, and of course, OG Hastings. Damn, I'm just glad we're still the strongest, but uh, one could say that the Hastings rule the world right now. God damn, you got fat! What happened? Where my rival at, huh? King Hertha Knutur, take this fat Indian woman. <laughs> Get out of here. And I got a diplomacy perk, the game rewarded me. Nice. We pick up groom to rule. Just extra points for my kid, that's gonna be good. Well, let's seize all of Brittany. That feels like a proper good war. We'll do it through a simple conquering of his own duchy. Get the lads up and march him in there. What the hell? No, they caught my armies as they were racing again. But I'm not gonna let you stop me. Come here. <laughs> The king's captured, the land's taken. We'll create the title and give it to Prince Ivar Freydison, my son. Congratulations, you're the jar. You're the man. But why can't we raid? Why? Our dynasty is supposed to have unlimited raiding. Where's the raiding? That's what we do. Hello. 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 We've lost the raiding. I can't believe it. That's it. I'm going to start banging my cousins. Well, it seems somewhere along the way we've lost the raiding, but we might be able to pick it up somehow. Maybe we left it around some bend, you know? Well, nothing is stopping us from claiming more land, and Frisia is looking like a snack. But we let our troops rest for just a little bit. They probably need it. And we also have a little bit of a faction brewing. The Venetian Catholic populists. Damn, alright, calm down. So what's missing, huh? They say I don't completely control Italia. What more do I need? Am I blind? Am I very stupid? <laughs> well, the Pope's pissed and he's coming back for Rome. So I would like to do this as quickly as possible. I think the main problem is this war as this counts as being occupied and not completely ruled by me. I could be wrong. There could be something else staring me right in the face and I don't understand it. But as far as I know, I completely hold all of Italia and I should be able to kick the Pope out. No! The frog! The frog has been hiding is the same color! You little dog! 
Crusade and the Crusade's about to fire in 12 months! You, you little sneak! You little sneak thief! Over Vassalage, what do you want? Religious accept- Nah, that's it, I'm gonna kill him instead! How could you? I have to win super quick! He's- He snuck behind my nose! Under my nose! Assault the fort! Oh, thank god he's captured! And there we have it! We can do it! We can dismantle the papacy! Will this- Will this stop the crusade? Let the Vatican burn! The dissolution of the papacy! After centuries of being belittled and deceived by their missionaries, the followers of Odin have finally taken their revenge upon the followers of the Christ God. The heartlands of their faith have been conquered with the favor of our gods. Their churches pillaged, their priests stripped mm, of all their power and dignity. Mm. Thanks to my glorious invasion, I have rid the world of this cowardly religion and avenged the dishonor brought upon our lands and our ancestors by the trickery. And I know trickery when I see it, because I'm literally the trickster, okay? The Vatican's cathedral were sanctified and rededicated to Odin using the blood of Marinus himself, who was sacrificed on the very altar that he used to preach from. <gasps> Their dead god could not protect them after all. God damn, that's brutal! But I have a ring -a ding ding little problem. They still wanna attack me. I mean, all of these people are now without a cause, but also without troops. What the heck? I did what I could, my father. And now the Christ Church God is God. The Catholics have zero fervor. Uh, we'll see them completely exploding very, very soon. <laughs> but they're still gonna try to siege it back. One last hurrah hurrah. Fine, if that's how they want to play. And that's how they want to play. We'll cut back on some of our flavish spending to save up a bunch of gold. Our court is massively bloated. We could kick a bunch of people out, but it's a part of the appeal. Maybe blush here. Maybe we don't need blush. Why are you called blush, huh? He wants to weave something glorious. To heck with it. We can, sp we can spend a bit. Well, we now have a new goal. To fend off this last hooray. This last crusade. And then we're gonna secure the Mediterranean by just taking Majorca. So we beat the war drum. We'll also start picking up some Hall of Body traits so that we can survive a bit longer. Well, uh, <laughs> something must have gone wrong because passionate plea to join against the enemies of the cross has been forced because there's no one. There's no one. The Catholics, they're not real. Pitiful. What is this enemy arc? Filky Ragnar, my grandpa, fought the Crusaders hand to fist, leg to knee and sent them off. But the trickster, no, no, no. He doesn't let them fight. He kills the Pope and ruins their will and their fate. Truly, solving it in a more, well, trickster kind of way. But we need something else. <laughs> King Arnold the Fat of Aquitaine. Once I have taken his land, well, uh, it's time to secure the Mediterranean. We'll take Manurka and we'll do it with just the Holy Order, since they're free as we are literally the Viking Pope. Let's go! And Thor just grew up. Nice. How many daughters do I have, huh? Can I get more daughters? Also, why does my cousins hate me? Nah, murdered family, of course. I'm so sorry. It happens. <laughs> well, we have the crown of thorns, and it sort of feels like we should have it displayed. Just, you know, as a reminder of once was once was. The peasants try to hand over money, and I just take more of the money? Nice. What's the development at like in Mun, where we rule from? 24. It's not really keeping up, is it? I like how I'm slowly just farming up gold here by, by standing on this plot. I guess that's what we're doing instead of raiding now. And look, we have another raiding guy. It would be fine if we could raid, but I know a way that we could return raiding to the Hastings Dynasty ecosystem once again. Well, that's this area taken. Very nice. We'll give the island of Minorca to Aistin! Aistin! God damn it. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a bootleg hasty dynasty. <laughs> oh my lord, literally finish this main quest and start doing goofy stuff. But that's it. We're gonna make uh, we're gonna make something very goofy here, okay? And we'll send him gifts. Two gifts. Damn, I'm gonna make this guy absolutely boom, okay? The Rauma Raiki Hasty Dynasty is gonna be huge. Best of luck, homie. We're also now out of our truce. So that we can take land from the fat king. We'll take all of Mallorca, please. And we'll raise our many band of soldiers here. Including the Joms Vikings. <laughs> Stack wiped. And we are now whopping two, two gold. No, uh, uh, 300 gold. As well as the Dutch of Mallorca. My nephew is a Catholic. Well, it's Aistin that deserves this land. So he gets it. And the Hastings dynasty can secure the Mediterranean. 
We will get Masters of the Mediterranean, giving us way more development, a whole bunch of renown, and a new kingdom. Mare Nostrum, my friends! Nobody can oppose us! Let's go! And another dynasty legacy, truly the most blessed of timelines. We'll go with constant care, as I'm really trying to boost my dynasty with kin. How are the Catholics doing? Their fervor seems to be back up again after losing the papacy. Mostly because they gained a bunch of heresies over and over again. That's odd. Is the AI exploiting? <laughs> well, the next option would be the dynasty of many crowns. We need to put 10 kings. We need to put 10 kings on independent thrones. We get a bunch of renown and the dynasty of many crowns modifier. That's huge. Now, what do we do now? We could either conquer the rest of Europe, go back and take out the Norse, try to destroy Germany, or take out the rest of Christianity. Or perhaps we set up a new little project. Something so goofy that people aren't gonna expect that. I know what we'll do. I have no interest in ruling Africa. We could just set up a bunch of African kingdoms and sort of lead them to their own devices. And that's the way that we'll be able to get the dynasty of many crowns. I'll just let them slip off in the succession. Now that would be amazing. We'll start with the Maghreb. Invade kingdom of the Maghreb. There's only one more man that would oppose us, but why don't we use holy war him as well? Give us the Grand Emirate. We will do like the Vandals and steal a lot of land. And against the Maghreb, we'll go for an invade kingdom causes belly. A great colonization. No, that's a, uh, no, maybe not a good name. Has some weird connotations to it that I want to avoid. Heck no, we're going to colonize Africa, my boys. Let's go! Rally point Cagliari, let's get a move on! We got Africans to conquer, come on! Well, that's Tunisia taken. Very nice. A good foothold. Let's give this to someone that will properly take care of this. Oh yeah, Ingjalder Grimason. He's gonna do fine in Tunisia. Best of luck, my, my kinsman. Married to daughter of one of our kinsmen. God damn it, stop keeping it in the family! Stop trying out around me! How can you be so fast? Well... We captured Prince Afer ibn Yadid of the Riga Grand Emirate, so... Uh, wow, we went to the wrong Riga! <laughs> God damn it, koi fish, why did you conquer Africa? Why are we conquering Africa? Why is this the African campaign? Well, it is now. Congratulations, we'll go tomorrow. Time to make my very cool kinsmen the jars of very cool areas in Africa. Hey, dwarf son! Congratulations, I'm sending you to Africa to, to, to rule one of the holdings we just built. No, it's not a punishment. What are you talking about? It's like opportunity. <laughs> well, there we go. Hey, Stinia is now in Africa. New and improved. Nice. And we'll right away provide some assistance. Count Friedrich the Shad is going to convert these people super quickly. Let's go! Hello, Moroccans! How are you doing? Not good. The Vikings are invading us. Help! Well, the Moroccans and the Swedes are fighting. Good luck with that. And while they're doing that, I'm sneaking a goddamn siege over here. I just captured his son. Well, that's a 100% war score. Thank you very much. I can't believe it, but... Hey, Stinia has grown! And we are quite severely above our vassal limit. I'll fix this right away. Don't worry. Well, the Africa conquest is going well. Uh, I don't see why we should stop. I mean, other than the ethical reason that these are a sovereign people and we're taking their land. But I don't see why we should stop. <laughs> Let's take this area. That should be the gateway to Africa. Wonderful. That's where we'll go. Once that is taken, we can just surge in and take the gold from the Ghanians. Once again, unethical, yes, but also, goddamn, hilarious. I also can't get over the fact that the Grandmaster Önundur's nickname is the silly. <laughs> He's just a silly little warlord, silly little guy. Well, uh, this was meant to happen, right? Oh, no. Why are you so angry, Muslims? I'm sorry. Did I take your land? God damn it, this is a problem. The interconnecting relationship between us and the val- Oh, it's un it's no longer valid. Uh, maybe- maybe I just scared them. Maybe I just cancelled that, huh? Sorry, but no revolt for you. Well, there's a slight problem about what we're doing. We're just marching in the goddamn desert. This is the harshest terrain we've ever known. Or people are gonna drop like flies over here. Duke Karim became a marshal. How? You can't just- you can't just go in here like a boss and do that. God damn it, Karim. Why would you do that? Karim the scammer. Well, first area taken. We'll simply leapfrog over him and go for the capital. Well, that's the man captured. Thank you very much. <laughs> Africa is open for business. Oh my god, thank you so much for just being this nice to us. Look at this lovely area. Who's gonna get this? Well, we'll steal the entire kingdom and we'll grant it to, of course, Count Sven, the king of Ambija. Congratulations, King Sven! 
Oh my god! You look uh, vaguely Asian. Maybe that's just what the people look like. Well, you're gonna rule. <laughs> he gets the letter. He's like, bro, you <laughs> listen, bro, you're about to have a change of plans. <laughs> Please travel down to Africa because Filky Ragnar needs you to control a bunch of crazy Moroccans. <laughs> Oh my god, that kid's dead. I just doomed that kid. Tell you what, talking about dooming kids, we could do a great crusade against the Guardians, because we only consider them hostile. We can do holy wars, but it doesn't seem to be an option here. We can do a great holy war and take all of Ghana. Now the gold mines are down here. Those are sort of the ones I want to take. Yeah, sorry to say, but this was just a ploy to get gold. But it happens, you know, it happens. Well, uh, there's no brakes on this goddamn hasty train, so we're gonna start conquering Ghana. And now the game's updated, so we can do a holy war for Ghana right away. Like shooting fish in a barrel. An African barrel. Whoever gets to the Farbas first and steals his gold wins a special prize. The Farbas is gold. Eeny, miny, miny mo. Catch a Farma by the toe. If you hold her, please consider using your great axe to dispatch of him. The perks of having as much troops in every army as your entire enemy's army is that they can't really oppose you. <laughs> Very good. The kingdom of Ghana is ours. You're never gonna get this back. <laughs> Let's raise a runestone. For the king we. And become healthy. There we go. A bunch of areas taken. Now we'll pull out the ledger of all eligible hastings. God damn, this is glorious. What an insane playthrough it's been. And, and it just keeps going. Now we're conquering Mali. Can't believe it. What an absolute glorious time we've had. But it just keeps going. We do have a slight problem. My song called is Dingering cut off and Ragnar II isn't gonna be my heir. He was great. Now it's gone to Prince Ivar Freydison, who is of my own liking and deceitful man. And he's my son, of course. And his grandson, well, he's not too bad either. But the lineage, man, the lineage. It's being broken up. It's tradition. You know, we've had this thing going for a while now. But like a pond of water, we can't let this stagnate too much. We also have enough gold now that we can create some pretty hefty titles. Right off the bat, we'll make the Kingdom of Scotland. I don't wish to rule here anymore. Duke Thorbrand rules the Isles. So he gets to become the main Scottish king. Very good, very nice, very neat. God damn it, it's so unreliable fighting here in Africa. Because you're fighting one realm and then the realm ceases to exist and you split up into a thousand more. I'll help, I'll help my enemy with the revolt because <laughs> he'll need that. Now there's a peasant revolt in Rome. Yeah, buddy, we can't have that, you know? You gotta stop. Well, that's Molly taken. Oof, what a mess. What a mess. Wait, we can make another holy order? Where do we put this one then, huh? Of course, in Italy. Second Holy Order. Let's do it. The Faithful of Tyr and the Joms Vikings. Of course. You better believe it. I was worried we lost the last one because they're very powerful and I, I sort of like them, you know. Is the House of Munsa still kicking around? What do they rule? Wait, did, did the descendants of Björn go to Gal Galicia Volhynia? What? The Munsa, they're still kicking. And we're still ruling Sweden. I forgot about that, man. We could just take the rest. You know, other than that fact that we're allied, but I'll just leave the North to be. They're, 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 I have enough. Ah, to hell with it. Give me all of this. An Iberian foothold. Hold areas of Iberia and a, con and a kingdom. Sure, we can do that. We can totally do that. I'll start by taking Navarra. I'll also put Aquitaine out of their misery. Local man gets tired of Africa, murders his rival, and conquers a bit of Spain. No, it's gonna take so long for them to rise up. Stop, stop, move, run, flee, flee. We'll do this one with the allies then. And tell you what, we can also take our wonderful culture and reform it. I want to get raiding back in here. I wanna keep raiding. We have only the strong and by the sword. I'm going to get rid of performative honor. This is the one that surely adds one more knight and lets our women be shield maidens. Oh, we have to, oh, we have to wait five years. Oh, well, I, ca I can do that. I'll, I'll, I'll live for that long. I'm healthy. I'm spry. I'm a cool guy. God damn it. It's so fun you sieging stuff. It's glorious. What's this? It's a war? The Frisians? They want to take France? That's it. We can't let them do this. Who do you take me for, huh? You, you, you Frisian Fifrisian Fanangler. We're gonna seize their lands first here, and then we'll go for them. Well, that's the war won with Vizcaya. Now we completely turn the cow around and kill the Frisians. Mux! No one can conquer France. Only me, I, Hastin, or the man that was Hastin before. I'm starting to lose it. I'm, I'm insane. Wait, Hastin was insane. Hey, it's literally me. Hastin is literally me. Crush him rightly, crush him righteously. Who 
who's this little Portuguese man that I've captured? Huh? Let me get ransoming for a lot of gold. <laughs> well, if I win this, I will get 2,000 gold. So I'm gonna win this crusade. I sort of feel like it's worth it now. <laughs> can't believe I'm 72 and I'm still kicking. Talking about kicking, we're about to kick these people out. Is this not proof that perhaps it's time to once and for all kick out the Christians from Europe? Then I don't know what is. Well, the air is captured and I'll gladly take that 2000 gold. Thank you. That certainly makes things a lot easier. I'm now very rich and that runestone's gonna be paid for. House Hastini. Truly one of the greatest houses known to man. With 13 sub houses like Aarhus, Scaffer. Hasty Asfi, <laughs> what are all of these? And of course the original, Hastini. We need to get our vengeance on those that dare to attack us. I'm going to conquer all of Lotharingia, but that alone is not enough. I'm going to conquer all of Germany as well. Because it's not enough to use rule. I have to rule completely. We fought you once, we'll fight you again. Crush them, crush them, drive them out into the sea. I'm telling you, war is really good for business. <laughs> And the Joms Viking will assist, of course. I'm no rivals with this little dwarf king. Yeah, no wonder why. I'm taking his area, I'm taking his area code. March in and crush him. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Who is this your little dwarf, Skarpedin of Mema? Is it here, but uh, oh yeah, he rules. Damn, you traveled far. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Holy macaroni. Well, I stole his crown. That's kind of goofy. Not giving it back. Fits my head just as good as yours. Hey, hey, hey. All of Lotharingia is ours. And now we move to Germany. Like, not literally. I'm not, you know, I'm not Turkish. I'm not gonna move to Germany. But we move over to Germany and start conquering it. But holy macaroni, there's a lot of titles here. Should probably divide those up. Or I just usurp the entire kingdom and grant it to none other than my gosh darn grandson. Enjoy King Hrothgir. We'll also assist him with converting the area. It's super quick with Jarl Svein. Oh, Ursa returns. From where? From where? What? That's an ominous little pop-up. Oh, I'm terrified. My rival and I, we got seduced, huh? I got seduced by my rival. That doesn't sound like a healthy relationship. The Lotharingians and the Frenchmen are grouping up again. From Venice to... Oh, let's go! A proper war! 40,000 soldiers! Now that's what I'm talking about. And now I'll quickly siege down this area and conquer it as swiftly as possible. Fort, assau fort assaulted, Germany conquered. <laughs> now we switch over to warfare focus. We're going for strategy. And we'll usurp all of Germany and hand it over to Skarpedin, my son. Skarpedin, king of the Germans. Married his own cousin. What a Habsburgian move. Now watch this. A glorious massive battle. Outnumbered two to one. But with our battle prowess, and the fact that we're just killing random civilians. We are easily winning this war. Hey, and another dynasty legacy. Nice. We're, com we're coming in on close bonds. This makes it easier to do personal schemes. Like swaying, befriending, or even <laughs> romancing your family members. We can also have a house paragon accolade. Which will give us more renown. And reduce the chance that house members fighting as knights. That they will be wounded. Wonderful. We have just made our first accolade with the House Paragon, the Dynastic Sword. Well, it was fun while it lasted, because oh boy, it's about to go downhill. Well, we can reform the Hastinian culture now. So I think we're gonna do that. We'll remove performative honor and reinstate some of our old lost raiding glory. Well, so I thought. This would let Dutch it here and lower rulers raid, not me. It seems that the raiding ways of the Hastinians is long lost. And we'll have to return it some other way. We're going to do something very goofy. We're gonna go with collective land. This increases my development by a whole lot. But also reduces building time and control growth. But let the land be owned by those that till it. Performative honor is a thing of the past. Now we move towards development. But damn, we're seriously dying and we do have a bunch of gold. Which will be good because that will fix most of the succession. But this guy's gonna lose a whole lot of claims. We're talking like an empire in Francia, an empire in Germany, an Italian empire, oh, an em the Maghreb empire, the Mali empire. It's gonna be, it's gonna go, it's all gonna go down. The revolt has been dealt with, but oh my lord, this succession is going to be a mess. An absolute mess. We got too many goddamn Catholics in this realm. We need to be smart, we need to hold, we need to prepare so that the cruel Ivar rule justly. Well, uh, here's another one. Well, I'm dead. 
Ivar now ascends the throne. Filke Ragnar ruled for 40 years, becoming the ripe old age of 78. Ivar is described as a formidable duelist. Sure, he has insane prowess, but I don't think he can duel his way out of this mess. Oh god, oh god! Ah, ah. Well, we do rule Africa, but Italia has been given to my cousin and Francia to my dwarven half-brother. Help, help. We're a great ruler when it comes to family. That's something to be said, but we've lost so much gold from this. Tell you what, my goal will be to keep the realm intact, that's all. Nothing else, nothing more fancy than that. We need to right away boost our court grandeur. That's gonna cost a bit more a month. We do hold claims on both the empires. But first, we need to take out these rebels. Quickly. We're also not dreaded enough, so let's see if we can get that up quickly. We could make it rain on our council. Just paying them off. Not a bad idea, actually. Well, that's not good at all. I can't take another succession this early. Well, that was certainly something. That man ruled for literally three months. And then Filker Ivar literally caught on fire and burned to death. <laughs> He beats the record of the, of the least ruling Hastin dynasty member. As Filkir Hastin literally ruled for three months then got his arm cut off by the Englishman. But that takes the cake. Now we're playing as Filkir Valtjorfer. Beautiful beyond words. His appearance will have a foreign dignitary groveling at their feet. Oh my lord, what? A pretty boy? First of all, we can't have it like this. Valtjorfer Chaltorfer. We need to go back to our roots. We are... Filkir Hastin, son of Ivar, and I intend to rule a bit better. And my son Ragnar shall do just that. But god damn it, we've still lost all of that land. And we need it. We desperately need it. But alas, I still hold claims on Italia and Francia. And Africa is still ours. And this character is all about learning. Nice. We'll go with scholarship focus. We need to make this realm more prosperous. We're now compassionate, zealous, and gregarious. A king that's a far cry from the warlike Hastings of old. But this Hastin is modern. This king will rule justly. Long live the emperor. Filkir Hastin rules a diminished yet strong Osadru Filkiret. The succession from Ragnar the Trickster to his father, Ivar the Cruel, who burned to a crisp, was rather quick. But it left the kingdom shattered, with Francia in Italia having emerged as independent rulers. Yet alas, the unpressed claim still holds, and a swift conquering is a possibility. Yet their armies are mighty and prosperous. Will Filkir Hastin be able to reconquer the lands of Hastin, so that his son, Prince Ragnar, may rule a united and more stable Hastinian realm? That we will find out in the next episode of the Hastin Saga! My name is Goldfish, I hope you liked this, and if you did, leave a like and consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay Hastinian, my dudes. Yeet!